chaps, it's what is the time? It it's early. Is, yeah, 20 past seven, we're at Stansted Airport, getting ready to go and see the uh, wonderful folks at Mayonnaise Guitars in Poland. Ryan's just picked us all up in the uh, Mighty Dad Mobile. Well done, Ryan. So um, we can all start drinking already. Only joking, that we won't. We'll be professional throughout. Anyway, we're going to um, go to the factory, see what makes these guitars so awesome, get some uh, really good training on the stuff. We've got two new guys working for us, Dean and Jamie, and they are going to be the go-to guys for mayonnaise in the UK So uh, and in Europe. I better mention that. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Worldwide. Worldwide. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoy uh, our footage of this trip and we'll try and keep it clean. Goodbye. <laughs> Who's most excited then? Me, definitely. Ryan. <laughs> I love a bit of magnificent wood. You excited? Yes. Very much so. I think he was using that for a record of some album. I don't remember the name, sorry, but yeah. We got it back, unfortunately, after his passing. Yeah. So this one was made for, uh, for the architect. Yeah, homemade repair job. Home repair. Only Lollar pickups. Like in this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah but there was. So we've got the Lollar pickups, roasted body in this one, wing and egg. This one has a American ash or swamp ash? Swamp. It's the swamp ash with maple. And Paul Ferrer? Yeah, it's 12. 12? Yes. Finally. Yeah, so this, this one's a little bit different. We, we, we tried to like try a new thing and enter a new market, so. Yeah. Way different hardware than we usually do. Obviously, when you're just gonna see on the production or whatever, we mostly use hip shot stuff and the burn uncle pickups are same old Duncans. So, with this model, we, we just thought it's gonna be more interesting for our clients or maybe future clients to see an instrument with a, the hardware they are more used to. So, definitely a God of Bridge, the 510 is a, almost under the standard right now. So. And the lower pickups are the, they are hand wound in USA or whatever. They are very, very good. The sort of a modern vintage type of tones, uh, five way switch, all that kind of stuff. So those are only two prototypes. It's uh, John from Peach here again, and today we are at the Mayonnaise factory in beautiful Poland. These two guys made us drink too much vodka last night, so that's why my hair's all fluffy and I'm, I'm not done my hair or anything, but you get the idea. When, when in Rome, or in this case, when in Poland, eh? So this is uh, David, and we've also hey. got Matt here as well. We're going to uh, show us what's what. What more can you see? For that there. Uh, and we're going to show you what makes these guitars so, so cool and what makes them different. So thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is um, my favourite uh, room from yesterday, my favourite part of the, uh, the factory when we came in yesterday and had a quick uh, look around. He's only got the only man with a key to the door basically, aren't you? So no yeah. one else is allowed in to see this uh, beautiful wood stash. Why don't we have a look at uh, some of the cool stuff you've got? Yeah, we have some uh, very special things like a 5A curly yeah. redwood. Yeah. This wood is 70 years old and it's uh, from California, generally uh, it's where it's our supplier, but yeah, right, right, yeah. but yeah, it's amazing uh, quality, and uh, yeah, we have also 3A and 4A gradations, so. And what model would this normally be used on most of the time, would it be on Regis? Regis, yeah. Duvel, yeah. Uh, even, even custom bases yeah. as well, so. 
I have seen some of the bases with that. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do the bases. We have also quilt 5A. Yeah. This, yeah. You know that's really going to come out when you put some, some uh, uh, stain or a lacquer yes, on there. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. We can make a... We can show it actually yeah. when we take a yeah. Yeah. little yeah. bit of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not more. No more. <laughs> it pops up, you know. You see it's more yeah, really. 3D. Yeah. And the, the redwood looks like an even a little nicer. Yeah, look at that. So, so this is how it looks like under the finish. So yeah, and this is very also very unique and special piece of wood, you know, and uh, really rare to find this kind of uh, look. And uh, it will be perfectly when we make a book match. It looks amazing. Yeah, amazing. And also check it out with the arc. So to see how the grains will pop out. Beautiful, yeah. So you also do a lot of the really nice fingerboard woods and more exotic woods that you don't normally see. Yes. Woods, okay. I'm trying to get a lot of different woods and cloning, for example, the camphor wood. This is camphor burl. It looks amazing, but smells also very, very nice. Mm. So it's like a camphor oil. Yeah. So it's also beautiful. So we have also a very, very nice walnut burl. Like this one. Absolutely exceptional. And and this kind of is very unique as well. So. Really big blocks. Mm -hmm. but the, the biggest challenge is how to put the bodies here yeah. to get the nicest view, the nicest look, and and the part of that. Yeah, in which part? Yeah. yeah, we can we can use as much wood as we as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. You use a lot of uh, bell as well on your guitar. A nice collection of of Bakai. It's a master grade. Yeah really beautiful so you can see how oops, the color it looks like so it's, it's a nice yeah. nicest combination of yellow yellow the green and yellow there, yeah, yeah like, a, like a stone yeah. Yeah. yeah so so when we make a book match so that would be and would this be coming from America as well yes yeah yes we have a couple of more yeah these here Very, very unique. I think these will be uh, turning into some peach guitars, so hopefully. <laughs> From the interesting things, yeah. with Apple, as well. so it's, a, it's prepared for reduce or custom bass. Wow, the quilted mahogany. Yes, with the quilt, quilted mahogany. It has this kind of small quilt. Structure. Yeah, it's zero, yeah, that's that. Um, is that Zerocota as well? Zerocota, oh, yeah, Zerocota. But as you can see, that you have it's almost one like ebony, like that. Really yeah, figured ebony. So. Yeah, you have one piece, and yeah. from this side looks great. Yeah, and you flip it out. You are nearly no, no dark parts. You know, so they would they would change in the whole structure like a. Nearly 100 percent change. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. The, so we can use this part as well. I like personally this kind of sapwood yeah, combination. Like yeah, yeah. Light, brighter color in the middle, for example. Pale moon. Yeah. Walk on the pale moon. Pretty heavy. <laughs> like ebony, of course. But yeah. yeah, the wood itself has a lot of lot of cracks. And yeah, so just just a few of the, these kind of billets we can cut for the fingerboard mm -hmm. because we have to be sure that there is no 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 any, no, no problems in the, the whole structure of the wood because fingerboard is amazing. It's important to the one thing is it should be straight, you know, very perfectly straight, you know, for the material, but also without the cracks. But ebony is is a really Hardwood to yeah. to, uh, to work with, you know, generally. Because of this kind of uh, ebony, 
so called in Ebony. Some of these fretboards. Yeah, we still have Bubinga, which is under CITES, but we just have it for any special, special orders and yeah. customers. They really, really need Bubinga, so then we, then we can use it. Snakewood? Yeah. Yes, this is Snakewood. As well, this one yeah. as well. Is it recorded? Yeah. And also, also here. It's a little bit darker. It's hard to see. And we have very nice. It's a golden ebony as well. A mixture of. Oh, this is also very nice. Yeah. We have this both uh, kind of. Materials, you know, we using uh, we have in our configurator as well. Yeah. So there's an option to use it. Uh, what else? We have very nice bird's eye maple. Comes from Canada. So we have also 5A material, which is here. Yeah, some of them are yeah, like, this, like this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that roasted? Roasted, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is roasted. And you do all your um, roasting of the woods on site? Uh, we do, yes, for the bodies yeah. and for the necks, yeah. maple, we're yeah. roasting here. And also we're roasting uh, poplar for the tops, mostly yeah. flame maple, quilted maple as well, but yeah. mostly for the, for the tops. Yeah. yeah. And after that, we can leave it as a natural finish. Mm. Uh, or we can make uh, antique, yeah. brown, yeah. black, which is finally looks like a little bit mixing of gold mm. and 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 black, more or less, because the, the wood itself, after roasting process, it gives this gold, yeah. gold, gold look. You know, the nice. Uh, nice, all the way. So we might have to stash that one. Sending, so we've got different spots over there. We've got the sending of Regis Duvel models. Over here, we've got the next for our multi models. We can obviously have to send it out uh, in a different spot than the body. So, we have also one more CNC machine. We have three CNC machines in total, but this one we use for the next. Uh, so, and the back side of the Regis, so we can actually use the CNC to, to fasten up the production. But still, all the sending process is done here by those guys. Everything is done by hand. Uh, as I said, CNC is only helping us out. It's not taking our job. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, we've got some tops ready for our reaches of the Some custom instruments. Like this one over here is very custom. So we are talking back April, eight string, multi-scale, pale moon ebony fingerboards, exotic neck, swamp ash uh, body. So that's one is a, it's a looker. Got some freshly ascended down tight journals. 
in this fold up we're going to be painted and lacquered out. So this is after final uh, sending. They go to the another part of the production to be sent it down. Uh, sorry, it will be lacquered out and painted. Painted and then lacquered out. It's so difficult for me to talk today. just works perfectly every single time. So this is the sending process, let's move on. And this is where we have our samples, like uh, tons of them. Uh, when we come up with a new color like this one, this was custom color made for one of the uh, customers, so we always try to not only make a, like a graphic design of the color, we also, every single time with a custom color, we apply it on a, either a piece of wood or these things over here that I'll be showing. So we've got the, let's call them blanks or whatever. So this is a very thin four-year of a flame maple applied on the shape of the dovel. So we can actually see how big, for example, this color is like this one. So this is the galaxy eye blue, right? So we had to know how big the blue part should be yeah. considering the size of the instrument, right? So it, it looks a little bit different on the PC and way different when you apply it on the instrument. So what we usually do is uh, we put it either on this uh, sort of a blank or just a piece of wood like over here just to see the shading or whatever of the color that we, we are trying to achieve and then when, we, when our painters are certain it's the color and this is the, the right, let's say, scheme of the colors it's, uh, they uh, put it on the instrument itself obviously after you paint the instrument there is uh, little you can do if it's wrong so we always try to do it on the the safest way possible to so do it first, like safely on the piece of wood, and then apply it on the instrument itself. So obviously there's uh, like tons of different colors. Some of them are our standard colors, like this one, but some of them, like this one, is custom. Some tests for uh, uh, for ash body guitars. So all that kind of stuff is usually done first, and then applied on the instrument. So this is our painter's room. This is where all the magic happens. This is where the guys are working on the colors and finishes of the guitars. Uh, we have two methods of uh, applying the color. The first one is, uh, uh, what is it called? Air spray one, which we usually use for colors like, like burst, like this blue burst over there. So as you can see, it was air sprayed around it. But for example, the purple inside here was applied with a sponge. So this is like a regular method where you actually Take a sponge with a little paint and just apply it by hand, slowly and steady, just to see how how big of the burst or how big of the the, the fade out you want to you want to make. At the same time, this is where the guys are preparing all the instruments, all the painting. So we are talking uh, taping the back. If the, there is a mixed finish, so if it's cross top and mud back, we have to tape all the back. Just give it to, to our guys to lacquer it up on front, then do it other way around. So we have to cover the front and just lacquer out the back. So we have uh, there is no uh, edges between the finishes of the polishing. This one is really nice. So yeah, this one is freshly lacquered out, and you can actually see how the the grains are popping out nicely. It's one of the first layers of the lacquer, so. It will look better when it's finished. <laughs> so these are our Bahamas, uh, that, that's how we call them. This is the place where we keep all the instruments after polishing uh, or after lacquering or after painting, depending on the process of the uh, production. So some of them were freshly painted, some of them were flesh freshly lacquered or sanded down. Some of them are already finished and just drying out because we have to let all the paint and lacquer settle down before we can polish it up and prepare it for assembly line. Which is not our most popular model, but definitely when properly spec it looks amazing. Yeah.
So this is where the Regis World starts. Uh, this is the Eleven Play Maple Neck uh, with a roasted Versai, Koa, and headstock. Obviously, the body will be matching as well. But yeah. So this is where the, the production of the Regis starts. And from this moment, we then glue the wings and the top. It's been cut out on the CNC and then send it down by hand. So yeah, so that's a, another really nice finger voice. You see, it makes the guitar unique because every single finger bone is different. If you have just ebony, it's going to be black finger bone, right? But with this, it's a little bit different every single time. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is our assembly line. This is where, we, where we put all hardware in, where this is where we do the fretwork, this is where we set up instruments, skew them up, and, and then uh, we send them from here all over the world. As you can see, there is a Six, seven guys working over here, simply just to make the instruments set up them and prepare them to be absolutely flawless. Yeah, it's almost very, very lucky because it wasn't spec because we do not offer flame uh, maple necks in the regions. But sometimes yeah. when we cut the wood, it yeah. just it just works. It's very difficult to find uh, flame maple which is that long. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. we, we would love to offer it more, but it's very difficult to, to find such a long piece. So this is the plate machine which is absolutely amazing. Um, we do play all instruments that are living on it, uh, that we are making right now. Uh, so I'm sure your viewers know what plate machine is, but if they don't, I recommend checking it out. Its primary job is to check the fingerboard and the fretboard that we've done. So it scans the neck uh, and sees the fretboard is perfectly leveled, if the frets are perfectly leveled. And if they are not, it, it's going to just uh, send them down a little bit and crown them and prepare them. Uh, so they are absolutely perfect. Uh, and it's, it's extremely accurate, more than any human eye could be. So this question is amazing. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That is nice. I like this one. It's a new one, it's a Duvel uh, V24, which is a uh, Duvel with a, a hip shot tremolo contour uh, bridge. Uh, this one in particular is, is being made for a Patrick Sheridan for a band uh, fit for an autopsy. So, uh, if you're watching this video, this one is for you. I'm sure it will be. Yeah, I'm sure he will. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll send him a link. So for the last, I would say, 10 years, even maybe maybe longer, we've been using Hiscox cases and we still do, but we decided that we need to come up with our own design for a, uh, for a soft case or hybrid case, whatever you're going to call it. It's a reinforced soft case with our logo made in Poland uh, with a nice guitar inside. The case does not come with a guitar, you have to <laughs> buy a guitar to get a case. But yeah, so this is a uh, very nice, nice soft inside and uh, outside, so you can actually travel with a guitar much lighter, much easier. We offer those cases for uh, the Hydro Mobile, which has like their own logo over here, for the well reduce and as well on, on all the bases. Thank you. 